Welcome back to the ABC of EDC with me, Rick Flat, your host through everything, Everyday Carry. I'm just out in the woods, got me thinking about something I want to talk to you about, and a little product I want to kind of do a quick unboxing and review of. Uh, while I'm doing that, if you'd like to take a moment just to like, subscribe, press a little bell icon, help me no end. Now I film most of my content on this camera that you're watching me on right now. Excuse the noise, it's my dog like messing around, he's crazy. It's a Sony ZV-1. It's a great little camera that I bought, I don't know, a year and a half ago, something like that. Kind of like, not super cheap, not super expensive, but great for kind of this kind of stuff. Love the autofocus, love the color out of the camera and all that, great. Use it for all my content, this, and the Flat Earth Podcast. If you want to know more about the Flat Earth Podcast, there'll be like a linky link somewhere up here. But a little while ago, through some calamity and accident, um, this camera got damaged and I had to send it back to Sony. And I was left with a conundrum because Sony told me it could be three weeks, it could be like months, we just don't know. Uh, it was kind of at the tail end of, um, you know, people being hard to get hold of certain components. So they were like, we just don't know. So I was like, what do I do? Now I've got a, a kind of other camera, an SLR, uh, a, um, a Lumix G7, it's pretty good, it does all right, but the focus isn't good, picture isn't good, you've got to mess around with it a lot more than the straight out of the box plug and play Sony. So I thought I could maybe could use that. But then I thought, no, it doesn't really work for me. And knowing I'd be out uh, of this camera for a long time, I was like, or possibly a long time, I was like, what do I do? And then I remembered a question that someone once asked. They asked, what's the best camera that you can have or the best camera to buy and the answer was given it's the camera that you'll use and the camera you use let's be honest most is the one you have on you most it doesn't matter if you spend thousands doesn't matter if you spec the hell out of a red or, or you just go crazy and just get whatever camera if it's not on you um, if it's not easy to access if it's not ready at a moment's notice to use, it's not the best camera for you. And I think we all know nowadays that the best camera, the camera we have on us all the time, is our phone. Now maybe you've got an iPhone because you're a regular person, maybe you're living at home, uh, still haven't kissed a girl, live with your mum, eat Doritos all the time, that's all you do, and you have an Android phone. Either way, the phone is now the camera of the masses, let's face it. And this is the iPhone 13, got them lovely, three cameras on there man, three lenses, love it. But I sort of thought if I'm gonna use this for a while, there's a few areas where it don't quite work for me and I need help, which led me to finding a very particular accessory for the foam. And here it is. This is the Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro Filmmakers Kit, accessory kit for the iPhone. It comprises of a case, uh, a couple of different lenses uh, and then a handle and also I kind of got the uh, Bluetooth sh remote kind of shutter as well. Let me flip around back to the studio and uh, unbox, show you the kind of things, talk about price and all that sort of stuff and then we'll come straight back here and I'll tell you after a, a good few months of using this some of the pros and cons of it. Let's flip around yeah. So here we have the uh, kit for the iPhone 13 from Polar Pro. Uh, and here we have the burly squid lovely little knife love this little guy interested to get this open and have a good look at what's inside get it on the phone so let's have a quick look some documentation blah some documentation blah okay packs okay get all this out of here and then we'll get on to the main review so what do we have here firstly we have a uh, that's one of the filters uh, that's a, a another variable ND filter uh, oh the Bluetooth shutter button and then what's this bad boy oh look at that thing man that's part of the the, the, the case and this last package here I believe will be the case oh my look at this bad boy lovely packaging man just black and white feels very nice looks very nice um, i went for the black case there's a few different color options on the website it's entirely up to you uh, I, I guess when you're buying yours whether you want to go, uh, uh, whether you want to go for something different i just went for a straight black uh, no messing around so maybe let's let's open this one first lovely packaging i must admit 
feels real good. Okay. So here we have, here we have the the main case. As I say, my, uh, oh, oh, that feels good. I don't know if you can see inside. It's kind of a, got a sort of really lovely velvety finish, a bit of Light Chaser Pro uh, branding in there. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good, man. I think before we go on, I'll just grab my phone and let's uh, let's just get, let's just get the old case off and let's just try this for size, huh? Okay. Yeah, pretty snug. That's pretty snug. That ain't that ain't bad at all, man. Um, and funny looking, it it doesn't add a lot of it doesn't add a lot of um. A lot of thickness, a lot of girth to it. Feel, feels quite nice. So, yeah. All right. Well done. Now, this here is interesting. You can buy this kit uh, either just the case, and you can attach whatever lenses you want. Or you can uh, also uh, get, oh, there you go, you try, and, you try and do it nice, but you can't always get it nice. So, oh no, this isn't it. I thought this was the Bluetooth shot. No, that's the Bluetooth shot here. So this here is basically a grip. So one of the things that I realized when you're shooting uh, with the iPhone, there's my dog, look at that, look at this guy. Um, when you're shooting with the iPhone is you're holding it and generally you have to kind of work out some way to grip it that works for you, but you never quite feel comfortable like you do with a camera, like the ZV-1 or my, my uh, you know, let me grab my other camera. Something like this old uh, G3, right? You've got that grip there, haven't you? You've got that kind of shaped grip and you somehow like, you feel like your hand's firm in it. But with with your iPhone, it was a little, it's a little bit suspect. If you ever put your hands like over a, a, a sort of fence to film something, a stream or over to film a road or a, a large drop, you're always a bit worried. But that's where this bad boy comes in. You see this thing here, again, with that nice sort of copper features. This thing is made to fit on, and, I, and I'm told this is how you do it, it stretches. Oh, let's work this out. So you, you, you push it in and up, and that bad boy fits on your case. Now you've got a really firm grip, and you can you can move it along slightly. There's a, there's a few different slots, if you see them, there's a few different slots along the case where you can get a different grip. So you can really kind of, I wouldn't have it around the end there, I would probably have it, oh, it's quite stiff, which is good. You want stiff, right? I'd have it second one in. That, that is the money shot right there. That, my friends, if you've got, let me get my camera open. Now, if you're filming something with that, man, that feels good. It feels like you can really move around and it's safe in your hands. It doesn't feel like anything's going to happen to that phone and you need that man because this phone ain't cheap man and we, we all pay a month and we forget that the you've got like a thousand pounds of camera here you forget that this, this is what you've got you've got a bit of tech that everyone's carrying around it's a thousand pounds man it's it ain't chump change so this bad boy here really lovely really good hardware on it again sort of bronzed or coppered hardware and all you do is you you, you push that in and then you push it up and it just you can move it along to any point or don't have it at all it's entirely up to you but mate for my money that is a that is a great bit of kit and solves one of the problems i've got with the iphone or any phone really it's just it's not being very um how can i put it it not feeling safe and 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 easily like like firm in your hand you know you're always a little bit worried you're gripping extra strong but that there mate that that has some money now i also uh, paid a little bit more just to have the bluetooth shutter now I, I don't know how much you need this but in some ways one of the things that's that's awkward with an iphone or or, or can be awkward is as you are filming something and you set your shot up you then have to touch your Oh, here we go really really sort of sloppy unboxing there sorry guys you know we'll get better we'll get better at this as we go along but one of the things if you set up your shot and then you've got to like you know you, you've got to like you've got to like get your uh, maybe you're trying to lock your focus you're trying to trying to you know just maybe 
focus on the foreground or the background, you can then move your camera around. And, and, and then if, even if you get it right then, you go to press, you know, you go to press record or take the photo and you move the thing. So what I did was I spec this Bluetooth shutter, which is, you know, really simple attachment, lightweight, but again, good quality. And you just unscrew the cap off the top of this little handle attachment. Um, and then underneath the, the kind of the Bluetooth button, you got a little Allen key, you screw that on and it, it fits on there pretty well. It doesn't look like an add on. It actually adds a little bit of height or girth or something um, to that grip that actually makes it, in my opinion, perform uh, better. And it looks like 100%. And they should say as well, there is a, a shoe on the top of this handle and on the bottom there's a, a, there's a, a quarter thread so you can get on a tripod and um, that's handy. I like the fact that with this kit, I'm ready. I'm tripod ready. Anyway, that's the main thing, case, handle, Bluetooth shutter. Um, but we should probably move on to talking a little bit um, about the lenses. But yeah, it's a great looking kit so far. So we move on to these lenses. I keep calling them lenses. These are really just filters. Now with the film, you can get all, look on their website, look, just tons and tons of different attachments. But what you get with the filmmaker's kit is just these two lenses, okay? You get a, a polarizing lens and a, a, and a ND filter with, um, it's a variable ND, so it's got, it's got three stops. I don't, again, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but that's what you get. This polarizing filter, you all know polarizing sunglasses, etc. This is going to take a little bit of the glare off of reflections and um, just kind of help you in scenes where there's maybe a little bit of harsh light. Very similar to the ND filter, but maybe with a couple of different applications. I love these little cases. I really do. Um, maybe this is something that's been around a long time and, and, and a lot of companies do this. First time I've come across it, this hard outer case that's quite a pain to open sometimes um, and within it you get a kind of half rubber case with the lens in it uh, sorry the filter in it and um, this just means that if you're really careful um, you shouldn't ever get fingerprints on this lens it shouldn't happen uh, it stays there and you see you've got these two attachments on the phone and on the phone case you just slot them in and then it just goes into place and then you kind of peel away the rubber um, lens guard, filter guard. And there you are, man, a smudge three lens. Now, these are quite monstrous. They go far larger than the actual lenses, but it adds a kind of like, I don't know. I think it's gangster, man. I like it. I, I like the look of this. You pull this out, people think you, you're serious, man. There's something about that large lens, the, the, the copper ring, the copper button. I don't know, man. Just it's, it, it's doing something for me. I, I, I like it a lot. And um, I'll try later on to put a little bit of footage in with the polarizer and, and the, the ND filter, see what you think. But um, it does something for sure, you know? Anyway, to get it off, you just do reverse, uh, pull it back off and then put it straight back in the lens. And there you go, no fingerprints, all done and dusted. Love it. So how do I feel about this Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro kind of filmmaker's kit? I think there's some great advantages to it. The main one for me is this handle, just, the sense of safety when you're using your phone. I don't know if you've ever tried to film like uh, uh, over a bridge or down a wall or in some precarious kind of situation. You're on a roller coaster, you're in a car, whatever you gotta do. Just holding your iPhone just to see your fingertips feels a bit odd, but this handle, man, it just, it feels so good in your hand. Like a, a really good grip on a, on a DSLR or something. You just feel kind of really confident with it. When it comes to the lenses, both this, what I've got on here, the ND filter and a polar lens, um, for, for me, I notice some in very bright conditions. I notice some uh, advantages with the ND filter. I think certainly with motion blur, as you know, this camera shoots in a certain way. Uh, you, it looks a little bit more kind of pixelated in some ways, uh, but you add the ND filter and it does kind of like, it helps things to even out and look a bit more filmic, which I like. Um, Polarizing uh, lens, I think that does something as well. Maybe not as much as the kind of other reviews I've read or Polar Pro themselves, but it does a little bit, knocks out a little bit of the glare, which I, is helpful. But for me, I didn't notice it massively. Maybe the iPhone 13 Pro just does such a great job in camera of dealing with some of that stuff um, that it's not necessary. But also this additional uh, Bluetooth uh, shutter that I ordered was like a really good advantage and I know like you can get them separately but there's something about being able to set your camera up somewhere and from whatever distance just take a photo just be 
over here and do it, you know. It's, it, I know you can set a t 10 second time, but you've got to run back and you'll get ready. It's something about being able to set up your camera, wherever it is, and just begin taking a photo or taking a video. It's just, love it. Would I buy it again for the price I paid? No. Am I glad I did? Yeah. Do I think it was value for money? I don't know, you come back and forth from that. One thing I would say is, it is excellently made. Like, just every part of it feels uh, meaty, secure, it feels solid, it feels like it's gonna last an age, and I like that. I don't like to buy things that are flimsy and you feel like, oh, it's good, it works well for a while, it's gonna break. This feels like it's gonna last uh, a long time. So yeah, if you're in the market for some accessory to make your camera a little bit better, I would say go for this. If it's in your price range, I'm sure there are other options, you go for them. But this did really help me transform my iPhone from being good to being great. A couple of cons on this I would say is, uh, I have a, a, a gimbal for my iPhone and uh, with this on it, with this lens on it, it just, there's no balancing. There's no balance in the gimbal. It just throws it right out. That's a problem. Uh, so it was annoying to be in a situation where I, it was a really sunny day and I was like, oh, ND filter. It was already in this case and, and I thought I'd throw a lens on there and it just didn't work for me. That's a problem. Um, but that's about it really. Because just to think, if you just have got these items here, a case, a lens or whatever, uh, and the shutter thing, and there you've got a, a an additional kind of mode of your camera. It's well worth it, it's well worth it. I filmed a whole video in London, went to see Jordan Peterson, and I took this thing just in my pocket, no hassle, no trouble, and it just gave me a little bit more security filming. Anyway, that's it, quick review in and out. Like I say, I'm not the expert filmmaker, I'm not the uh, kind of, this is the first time I bought a kit like this, maybe I'm mad. Is there better things out there? In the comments, tell me, am I mad? Did you buy this, was it any good? Anyway, till the next time, I'm Rick, this has been ABC of EDC. Laters, yeah?